consume so much sugar that there's just not even enough in these fruits and vegetables to overcome the amounts of sugar we eat. And it's so difficult to avoid sugar. It's not like, oh, I'm going to avoid table sugar. No, it's everything. It's breads, rolls, cakes. Nothing doesn't have sugar in it that you buy today. And you just can't live on just vegetables. So the fruits have sugar in them, good natural sugar. But even those have been bred to have be so sweet and have so much sugar, you get overwhelmed with the amount of sugar. So you have to truly supplement your diet with the natural sugar chaperones so they can go with that sugar and you, your body can return to a healthy carbohydrate metabolism. An article came out in Scientific American that said, Alzheimer's is type 3 diabetes. So here's the picture. If you take sugars, refined sugars, by themselves, your body thinks it's a poison, you constantly get inundated with that poison. Not once, like with the poison ivy, not once, like with a bee sting, or a hay fever, or an allergen, constantly, every day, every half an hour, you get up, you eat, start eating refined carbohydrates, you drink them, you have them for lunch, you have them for between meal snacks, you have them for dinner and you have them before you go to bed. That constant barrage is, leads to a low level constant inflammation and your body eventually starts breaking down. Very similar to uh, smoking cigarettes. Not everyone who smokes a cigarette gets cancer. That's certain. But a lot of people do get cancer from smoking cigarettes and this is very similar. Not everyone who eats refined carbohydrates is going to get diabetes, but a lot of them do. It is the major cause. So if this happens now in adolescence, you get type 2 diabetes and acquired diabetes. It's not so drastic as to shut down your pancreas, but you have insulin resistance. It shuts down the ability of insulin to process that sugar. We were um, looking at that underlying response. As we looked at diabetes and, and uh, weight management, we saw what was going on. Your body sees the poison, inflammation comes on, and then you have a disease. So we found out the sugar chaperones shut down that inflammation and they reroute the sugar to keep it out of fat tissue where it doesn't belong and put it into your muscles and your brain tissue. Your brain, by the way, can only live on glucose. That's the most simple sugar. It can't live on anything else, just sugar. So we help that process along where it should be. So you take sugar with sugar chaperones. This is normal. You have normal carbohydrate metabolism. That's what we're talking about. In uh, the case of sugar, if you have sugar without one of these sugar chaperones, your body says, okay, there's a poison. I'm going to attack you. I'm going to stick you in the fat tissue. That, by the way, is what um, the body does to all poisons. It tries to put it in the fat tissue. So if you take too much mercury or lead, it goes into your fat tissue. It's just trying to isolate it. Get it out of the way. That's the main purpose of insulin, is to take sugar and put it in fat tissue.